Evening, I'm Laura Lee. And I'm Dan Wolf. Thanks for joining us. Duluth police say a massive drug bust in our area this week is a big step toward tackling a growing problem. A Duluth man was arrested Monday for possessing illegal drugs, including about two pounds of fentanyl, with a street value of more than $300,000. Northern News Now's Jack Wiener is in studio tonight tracking the very latest on this seizure. Jack? Well, one kilo of fentanyl is enough for roughly 500,000 people to fatally overdose. That's more than, do that's more than uh, double St. Louis County's population. But it's not all that was found on Monday. Around 6 Monday morning, authorities executed a search warrant on 43-year-old Deontay Shields of Duluth. When they took him into custody, police say Shields had more than $33,000 in cash and multiple fake IDs on him. They also searched his home on Matterhorn Drive near the Duluth Aldi. It was there authorities say they found a kilo of fentanyl, along with meth, a loaded pistol, and evidence of drug sales. A package on its way to his residence was also intercepted, which police say contained a kilo of crack cocaine. Authorities say Shields had several active warrants that led to his arrest, including possession with intent to deliver fentanyl. Chad Nargoski with the Lake Superior Violent Offenders Task Force says a big goal of theirs is to target drug distributors. And a large bus like this will help to keep Northlanders safe. You know, we're not seeing um, record increases in, in violent crime and all that stuff. We are seeing record increases in drug um, drug uh, confiscation and drug cases. Our goal is to take the, the high-end dealers off the street. Nargoski says local and national overdose rates have skyrocketed in the past few years. In 2017, there were 12 overdose deaths in the St. Louis County area. In 2023, it was up to 68. Non-fatal overdoses are up as well. Nargoski says while big arrests like this can help get fentanyl off the street, other resources will be required to end the opioid epidemic.